straight out of Compton. Crazy motherfucker named Ice Cube. From the gang called Niggas with Attitudes. When I'm called off, I got a sword off. Squeeze the trigger and bodies are hard off. You two boy, if you fuck with me. The police are going to. Hey now, what's going on, guys? My name is Mike Brown, aka Review King MB, and I just got back from a screening after seeing Straight Outta Compton, which is a 2015 film that was directed by F. Gary Gray. And this movie, before I get into the plot, before I get into things about the film, I have to say that I love this movie. I did. I, I just, I loved everything about it. For anybody who is or was a fan of N.W.A., their music, the history behind their music, or Ice Cube, or Dr. Dre, Easy e or even if you're not, even if you're just somebody who wants to get to know the history behind this music, behind this group, and the events that went on around 1988 when this stuff was going on, you have to see this movie. You have to. Sure, you, you could say that uh, maybe this is geared more toward uh, a black audience, but the screening that I went to, sure, there was a lot of black people there, but the people that I went with, we got sort of separated. There were so many people and not enough seats, so where I was sitting, I was sitting next to two older Asian women and one really old white woman. For some reason, they were here to see this movie, and they clapped after it was over. That's the broad range of where this movie can be reached out. That, that was very impressive to see that. Now, the plot of this movie is basically you see the formation of the NWA, this music group, this rap group from the 80s and early 90s that they all really came from nothing. They came from nothing, and we see how they rose to fame, and how not only just that, but how their music, where their music came from, how it came from just all of the oppressionness that was going on with uh, the police, and how the minorities were being treated, and a lot went into that, and also the downfall of the group. Just, and when I say downfall, I mean this group breaks up very badly and you see everything this movie is two and a half hours long there's so much in it but it's never boring you never feel like it's dragging or it's that long it's it's entertaining all the way through the acting from everybody was very impressive we have Corey Hawkins who plays Dr. Dre I very much liked him he looked like him O'Shea Jackson Jr. plays Ice Cube who is Ice Cube's real-life son. I can't imagine what it must be like to play your father, but he's a splitting image of his father. He looks exactly like him, and I think he played him very well. Like what I know about the NWA, I'm not saying it's a lot, but I know what I know, and I felt like I knew a lot going into this movie until you see the movie and you just see that there's a lot that goes into uh, their friendship, and a lot with uh, their talent. Jason Mitchell plays Easy e and I've never seen him, this actor, before in this movie, but I thought he played Easy e great. He looked like him, he sounded like him. I know Dr. Dre and Ice Cube produced this, they were very much behind this, and I think that helps. You can tell that a lot of the events, a lot of the things going on feel authentic. The very first scene in the movie feels like an action movie. Like, it does. And there's lots of other scenes in the film where it's it's so crazy, it's so absurd. Let's put it this way. There's one scene in a hotel room in the hallway where they have a bazooka. Like, they didn't give a shit. No, they were who they were. Let's talk about some of their music. Like, their one song, Fuck the Police. And when you get to the part with the Rodney King beating, that went on in the early 90s and how that whole case elicited riots and people coming back after the cops and, and just cops beating minorities. It was very weird to sit there and watch those scenes and how all of this went on some 25 or more years ago 
and to see that that is still going on today, the timing of this movie is eerie for that reason. It, it's so, it's still so relevant today to watch. There were a lot of fun moments, there were a lot of funny moments, there was a lot of serious, straight, emotional moments. Uh, I also, I want to bring this up, Suge Knight. For anyone who might not know who he is, he was a record producer for Death Row Records, and I very much believe his portrayal in this movie, but this guy was a dick. He was an asshole. You know what? I shouldn't even say that out loud, because he, he, he's a scary dude. You don't want somebody like him getting on your radar. So, my rating for Straight Outta Compton, I am giving this a full price. Definitely check this movie out. I loved it. I loved it. I loved it. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Later.